Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn how to remove the element from the DOM. So after now, we have seen how to insert the element using the parent or using by catching the sibling and all those things we have seen. Inserting the before, inserting the after. So using some hacking method and all those things we have seen it. Now it's now it's time for us to learn how to remove an ele element existing element or inserted element how to remove that element let's try to see it so right now we have this uh, simple example right so the example which we are learning it if you try to see this is a dynamically created paragraph so this is a paragraph element so now for removing this one so we have two methods available actually there are two methods available in the dom for removing the elements so first one is the remove child okay first one is the remove child so remove child means for this one we need to catch the parent so we need to catch the parent in this case body and we need to remove the child so remove the child you need to pass the element so element node so which element node you want to remove you need to pass this one so this is the remove child and another one is so we have another one directly you can have that you can catch that element node and you can remove it directly okay so when we need to use uh, which method we need to use when in which scenarios i will try to explain you first we will see the first one remove child so remove child method so remove child method means so same like append child if you want to remove a child particular child so first you need to catch that element node and the parent node using the parent node you need to remove it it takes one argument that is nothing but a newly created element or already existing element 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 node so those are all things we require so let's try to see the example so here we are having a new paragraph right so we have created this element and now if you want to remove this one so this has been inserted if you want to remove this one so we know that the parent is body and the method is remove child and we remove we need to remove the node so for removing this node what we need to have so we need to pass the element node in this case ours is the new para so when i use this one so here let's see the output see automatically the element has been uh, removed so here in the body also in between this h1 and p actually we have inserted in our previous video but right now the p element the paragraph element is not there why because it has been removed so now <clears throat> so we have used this one right so let me elaborate you let me uh, so maybe you are confused let me explain you a little bit clearly for example let's say that in our body we have a development okay so development so removing this development okay using remove child using remove child so this is our development so if i try to show you the output here we are able to see removing this development using remove child so now what we need to do we need to remove this development okay let's go here i will be adding a new function function remove element i'll be using one function so i will not call this function i will call this function from the console so as this one is a global function we can directly call from the console here we need the body element so we have the body element so let's catch the div element so div element means i can use document.query selector as that is the only element available so here i'll be using div we got the element we got the parent parent is nothing but body dot remove child i can use this remove child remove child of we need to pass the element which i want to remove so this one is present inside the parent as a children so now i have removed it as a child so now let's try to see it. here this is the output we are able to see right so removing this development it is there already so now i want to call this method remove element let's call this method so if i call this method see this has automatically removed from here also it will be removed so if you try to refresh this page so here you'll be able to see this development right so development is there uh, underneath the paragraph element between the h1 uh, sorry between the paragraph and the script development is there so now if i try to remove this element so it has been removed and in the elements also it has been gone so like this by using the remove child we can remove the element so for this one we need to catch first we need to catch the parent and after catching the parent inside that one it should show that this element should be a child of this parent and you need to remove the child so fine so in some scenarios what we could be having is so we may be having a restriction or you may be not be able to find a parent so why because we need to do some extra logic and extra steps to find the parent for example i don't know about this parent i don't know the parent so i want to find the parent for this one 
so what i need to do so i can use dual element so we already have a method something like parent node we have already uh, written uh, understood right parent node or parent element we can use it so now if you try to see here so now you can remove element it is removed Why? because we have got the parent okay so we got the parent here so using the parent node or parent element so we can get the parent thing so now if i try to see the same thing so it has been removed so we are able to get this one but now in some scenarios so we have this one like this right so catching this parent and all those things so this might look weird for uh, for the some time so for now it could make it look weird why because we have an access to the parent we know what is a parent but if you don't know the parent so we can catch it like this so fine so is it, this one is everything is fine there is also an another method called remove method so what does the remove method will do is so let me comment out this one so the remove method means so you you know you don't have an access to the parent or something like that so i have shown you how we can access to the parent so if you doesn't know how to catch the parent means so you have the element div element you can go div element dot remove so directly you can use this method so this one is very easy right so instead of catching the child and all those things so now if i try to show you the output then also the same thing works see it has been removed from this one so div element has been removed so what is the difference between these two so when i need to use this remove child and when i need to use this remove so remove is the newest method new method that has been introduced in the dom so this one is very simple and very easy so you can use it directly you catch the element whatever the element you want it and directly you can use the remove method but this is a new method that has been introduced in the dom so only the modern browser so modern browsers uh, supports this one so almost all browsers supports but the modern browser supports so if you want to target if you want this method okay if you want if you want the older browser support also so if you want a old browser support also which this method may not support why because this has been introduced in the new dom so if you want this old browser support also then so you don't have to mess up with one right so maybe the javascript breaks and uh, and all those things happen so if you don't want to happen like that so if you want to save side enough you can use this remove child but here we need to catch the parent and then we need to remove the child as obviously i have shown you the different scenarios if you know if you know the parent you can directly use the parent if you don't know the parent i know this development so here you can use the parent node okay and instead of using this one so we need to use the remove child and again we need to pass the development so it looks something like weird but fine so if you don't have know the parent means you can use it like this so this works in all the browsers almost all, all, not almost in every browser it will this method will work whereas the remove method which we have seen it now so this method works in only the newer browsers most of the browsers it will work it's not a problem but if you have a older browser if you want to have old browser supports for safe side means you can use this remove child so this is all the two methods which we have learned remove child and the remove uh, removing the element from the dom hope you understood about this one removing the elements from the dom if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you